Hello everyone, I am the Lore Explorer and this is The Outer Wilds. Today, I am going to talk about a small detail I'm not sure everyone notices. The reason being is I just noticed recently. The topic of today's video is the Hourglass Twins. It turns out the twins may actually have a bad name. The two planets may have been one at one point. There is no real proof of this, but I feel like I've built a decent case. But if they were one, they're not really twins, are they? To start, we will head to the Grav Cannon, around Giant's Deep. Strange, I know, but see, the computer there is able to show us a 3D image of Ash Twin. This allows us to visualize the entire planet and how it would look for a hundred years if it, the Alpha is to be believed. In the Alpha, it says the planets take about a hundred years for the sand to start transferring from one of them to the next. But as we look at this, do you notice anything interesting? The Nomai bridges are actually built on a natural rock structure. It almost goes around the entire planet, and it looks like Ash Twins would fit almost perfectly inside the Ember Twins Canyon. The first time I actually noticed this, it led me to the urge to actually go check out the planets. Heading to Ember's Twin, we see the planet-wide trench of sorts, or a canyon. Heading down to the core, we see e even that has pockets in it that are filled with sand but it looks sort of incomplete or not whole. Unfortunately, the Nomai excavated and altered the Ash Twins core, so we can't really get a good judgment on how it really looked. Though, what we do see does look similar to Ember Twins. We can even see holes in Ash Twins wall of sorts, which we find all throughout Ember Twins, which we see in the forms of caves or shelves on the side of its canyon. Now, to top it off, I went to each of these planets. I left a scout on one side of Ember Twins Hollow Canyon. Standing on the other side, we see the canyon is around 35 meters wide. I moved a little up, and I think it was about 39 to 37, so it varies a bit, but it's around 35 to 40 meters wide. If we head to Ash Twin and measure that, it's not a perfect match all the way around, but I do find sections where it's exactly 35 meters wide. It's an exact match where the structure on Ashtwin could fit exactly in this cannon and fill the gap completely. Now again, none of this is really proof, but these observations seem too convenient for it just to be a coincidence. Now, I know the Outer Wilds isn't the most scientifically accurate game, but most of it is based on a s stretched or loose scientific concept, but I can't think of any way for this to possibly happen. For example, if the Earth were to split into three separate pieces internally, the gravity holding them together would still hold true. They would never begin to drift apart unless something were to come from the outside and hit them, and somehow not shatter them to pieces. And that would change its orbit enough around the Sun for them to drift apart. But ultimately, they might even find their way back together then. And if it somehow did split here, how would the middle piece break free from its sides if it's contained? Binary systems are a real thing. Most of them happen to be stars, but this one is a closed binary system, and they are actually able to exchange material between the two. So there is some real science at play here. Most binary bodies we find are stars, but there is nothing saying it can't happen with planets. I think there are even some comets that are binary systems. But maybe the location of the Ash Twins can explain this phenomenon. There actually is a process where a planet is split in half, called the Roche Limit. As a body gets too close to a sun or larger body, it, its own gravity gets overpowered by the gravity of the body. The planet gets pulled apart due to the tidal forces and its internal gravity not being strong enough. But these larger pieces soon break up into smaller pieces as well and they all end up crashing into the larger body at some point. Maybe somehow, the differences between our universes and the gravitational constant in Outer Wilds could allow this to happen, as tidal forces do pull the center of the planet when they take effect. Though tidal forces might not really explain that, they could explain something else that happens at the Hourglass Twins. These sand transfers are actually an unexplained phenomenon to the inhabitants of the Outer Wilds universe. Again, if the Alpha is to be believed, every 100 years, the sand flows from one body to the other. The only way I can explain this is some crazy alignment of planets. Let's say most of the planets are on the opposite side of the Sun from the Hourglass Twins. 
All of the gravity would pull on the sand like the moon pulls on our ocean to cause the tides. With the collective gravity of the solar system pulling on the sand, it would start transferring from one planet to the other. It may be possible to have enough gravity built up to initiate this with all of them pulling together. As the sand starts moving from one planet to another, it could create a wind current that spurs this on like an updraft. As the sand gets pulled off by the other planets, the closer planet's gravity overcomes this and scoops it up. But really, these are just guesses from an armchair scientist with no schooling. But I think it was a really interesting subject to think about. These guys really did create some really cool stuff. But it's kind of funny. Everyone points to the Ash Twin Projects or Dark Bramble for examples of a confusing scenario, but the Hourglass Twins alone remain one of the unsolved mysteries in the solar system. So I'm sorry this video really didn't explain much, but I think it's an interesting detail they probably added for a reason. But even if the two planets form separately like most binary systems, it's still a great detail. The fact Ash Twin fits inside Ember Twin is just really cool to me. But for now, this is the Lore Explorer going to plan my Kerbal Space Program trip to the Mun.